Good evening, everyone. This is CJ Peaceful. I had a little project here I wanted to share with everyone. Something I've been working on for, oh, uh, at least thinking about for a couple of weeks now, and actually working on it, putting it together for about, a, about four or five days. Um, what we've got here is uh, two square acrylic tubes. Uh, they measure one inch by one inch. And they are glued to a quarter inch thick piece of uh, acrylic. I've got two threaded rods running through each tube. They are threaded through the acrylic plate as well. Uh, nylon washers and nuts. And of course I've got the leads at the bottom connected. This side being the positive and this being the negative. Uh, the tubes measure about maybe 10, 11, maybe 12 inches tall. Uh, I've got purified water again, or excuse me, filtered water with uh, KOH. And I got about a 24% KOH and probably between 24 and 25% of the KOH electrolyte and the other 75% uh, or so is, is the purified water. So I got a 4 to 1, four to one mix. And I don't know. I, I've been thinking about various ways we can maybe separate the, the gas during the actual production. And this, this sort of came to me based on my uh, my research and my uh, brainstorming uh, with regards to my plate gap theory. And I'll go ahead and flip the switch and show you what is possible. Um, as you can see, uh, it does produce a nice amount of gas. Again, this is the oxygen and this is the hydrogen gas. Of course, twice as many gas bubbles, which is, that's what's going to happen. <coughs> I've got 12 volts going to it, and it's measuring about, about 1 amp. Maybe a little bit less, maybe 750 milliamps. Um, I think I'm going to take this design, this idea, and kind of run with it for a few weeks and see what I can do with it to improve the efficiency of it. Because right now, this, this is not... It's not producing, a, I would guess, a, a fair amount of, or a, a, enough gas to really do much, except for maybe blow up a few balloons, you know, for the kiddos. But uh, just something I, like I said, I've been working on and want to share with everyone. Uh, it, it's, I, I do have a small leak at the bottom, and I think what I'm going to do is uh, maybe reverse the design, maybe mirror it over to where um, I've got the leads going down into the solution rather than uh, going up from the bottom. And I got a few other ideas too. Uh, I've been kind of throwing around. I got some sketches I've made up with, uh, using using plates and whatnot and increasing the size of course of these tubes. I found that using the square tubes is, is, is gives me more freedom as far as spacing goes. Uh, what you want to do is you, you really need to, to consider the gap you've got between the two electrodes. Um, Obviously, you want them close enough to where the current that is flowing through the solution um, is strong enough and effective enough to create the decomposition of water into the gas. And if that space isn't tight enough and the solution isn't strong enough, then you, you really don't get much production at all. And using um, a circular tube really doesn't allow you to do that because you don't you you can't really get the your electrodes close enough uh, to produce much of anything at least that <laughs> that's what I've discovered so anyway just want to share this with you guys and uh, give me your thoughts and suggestions and comments I would appreciate them all as usual and uh, see you next time <laughs>